you know, there's just certain things that happen and just more important now than ever when you play in these games, those small details, more than just the hype of, you know, winning a division, it's, that's what's going to allow you to be successful. And with Jason, is Jay, Jason the guy that harps on that kind of stuff where it's not the magnitude of the game, it's about the same Yeah, I think, I think he, he tries to make, create an environment where it's as normal as it can be, you know, and create a normal week and to make it about this week and not about any of the other experiences. Um, you know, a lot of guys weren't around for those games, but um, you know, I, I certainly think there's something you can draw from playing in those games and critical moments. And, you know, I think his biggest thing is what he always says, you know, be your best and regardless of circumstance. And this is one of those moments, you know, and they know us well, we know them well. I mean, they know what we're going to try to do. And so uh, it, it just, my message has been that. I think the leaders have said that it's a, you got to prepare every detail. Don't don't allow us. And then when they come up, take advantage of them. What do you think? Can you talk a little bit about Ertz and Goddard? Just how yeah. they play the position and how Philadelphia deploys them. Yeah. Well, I, I just think uh, first off, I mean, I think Doug Peterson coming from that Andy Reid tree. I mean, that that's always been a tight end friendly offense. You know, they do a good job of they they fi- they focal they put a lot of attention on that position and what it brings, the matchups that it creates. Um, but, you know, it's not always easy to do. And, and you know, Zach's been doing it a long time. And he's a good route runner. Um, you know, I think they play well off each other because they're different in some areas. But, uh, you know, I think they, they have really good feel and same page with the quarterback. You can tell the quarter, Carson's got a lot of trust in them as as route runners and are leaning on him them now more than they ever have. So. I got a lot of respect. I mean, Zach's done it at a high level for a long time, and you know, I think the the bigger the moment, the better he's played. And mm-hmm. That's uh, it's a great sign for a tight end. You know, it's critical plays and critical games, and it's what he's been able to do. Zach was saying yesterday he thinks Dak will have to be killed and not be on the field. Yeah, you kind of feel the same way about your. Yeah, he's gonna. He's you know, I don't think anybody would think anything different. I mean, toughness is something that he's shown since the day he's got here. You know, he's. Just, and yesterday was the first practice he's missed, and to me, it's unreal. So, um, you know, I think for him, it's just all the things that he does during this time because he's not out there and he's so used to being out there. And, you know, I just I've watched him today, you know, calling plays, doing those drops, uh, um, all the things he can. So, you know, he's one of the toughest teammates I've ever had. And, and uh, you know, know that he's working hard to get himself back out there and fully expect him to play at a high level. Is it disruptive to the entire offense so not to have your starting quarterback during the week of practice getting ready for a game of this magnitude? Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's never happened before, so I think that's different. But, I mean, uh, he's communicating during the meetings. We're talking a lot. He runs the meetings this afternoon, does it all week. And so I think he's been above and beyond in all those aspects. Just, you know, those 35, 40 practices you throw in a week, I guess, you're not getting from him. But... I mean, he's constantly communicating, so I don't see that being an issue. Yeah. 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 He's taking command. You know, I think it's a good opportunity for him to come in there with the first group, and um, I, I just think Cooper's so much more comfortable in this system of what he wants to do, and he really is. I mean, I think Kellen's created an environment in that room where, you know, he he was sitting in those chairs and so he offers them you know gives them the freedom to give tips and reminders and what you think about this coverage and so uh you can see cooper's a smart player um you know he's ready for his opportunity and he he tries to simulate a lot of the things that dak does you know and i think that's what you want from your backup quarterback how much of your decision to come back was for games like this even if it's seven and seven yeah but everything yeah Yeah, so that's what you come back for you know this is what the games you want to play in when you uh, are, are going through something like that and you're working and you know you're thinking about the opportunity to come back it's for games like this and moments like this and so um, I'm thrilled to be a part of it but I also know what it takes you know and think about you know what that's going to feel like 7:30 Sunday night you know to, to win a division regardless of how you do it you know and so um, for all athletes I think these games are hard to come by you know and to be in week 16 and to play in a game like that that's what I wanted, you know, that's what I want to sign up for. So um, 
trust me, I'm going to do everything I can to come away with the win. When you're 50 and you stop playing, how do you <laughs> replace that? <laughs> I don't know. You guys got any good ideas? <laughs> Just glad, 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 I, uh, glad I got some opportunities. In what are you, 49? <laughs> <laughs> Close? Headless, headless yeah, that's right. That's right. In your experience, how uniquely physical are these games? Uh, very physical, you know, and I think just with this opponent, I mean, the strength of their teams, their defensive line uh, has been for a long time. I and mean, they, they challenge you, they line up and play in their front, they stop the rush, and they've done that for a long time. So, and I think they're confident, you know, I mean, they played some tight games, but, you know, they've been kind of in playoffs the last two weeks. So I think that you win those type of games, you can, you can see the confidence level. Veteran players have won the Super Bowl, so it's going to be a physical matchup. I mean, it's, these are ugly, dogfight type games, you know, and you got to get you got to mentally prepare for games like that, you know, and not lose sight of all the, you know, implications of, you know, look, it's a playoff game and all that kind of stuff. It's it's going to be a physical dirty game. That's what we're expecting. Jason, what was that like playing in Philadelphia meant to, to you throughout your career? Well, it's a great place to play, you know. I mean, those damn fans, I mean, I tell you, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, just they they just you know, I mean, they're, they're great fan, fans and for for Philly and you know, I mean, they call you every name in the book, and there's no greater feeling than going up there and getting a win, you know. So uh, I just think NFC East matchups late in the year like this, I mean, it's, it's what pro football is all about. What was it like on the bus rides going to the vet back in the day? Oh, I was never a part Where's of that. Bet? No, gosh, Ed, I'm not that old, man. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't play for Lincoln? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, Bob Lilly was a teammate, though. What, what is the most, <laughs> you, you had one of your most iconic career plays against yeah. them. Can, what do you remember about that? Well, I just think, you know, much like it was a Sunday night game and, you know, I think the bigger the in, in that stage, you know, I mean, there's so much energy in that in that stadium. And, you know, it's my favorite play, you know, always known for the option. It was an option pump play and uh, we ran it a few times. Tony squeezed it in there. So, yeah, I mean, you could have a play that you would hope would embody everything that you stand for. That's a play that, you know, I would dream up, you know, so it'll always be a special play for me playing in that game. Running down the field with your helmet off. Yeah, on a three pump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you down realize the your helmet? Well, at what point did you realize it was off and did you even think about going to the ground? Uh, I knew it was off just as it was happening. You know, I felt the hit. It was a pretty good hit. Uh, but Mark Colombo, of all people, was the guy picking me up. Uh, 20 yards down the field, he's like, dude, are you all right? You know, so only Colombo could say it in that Northeastern accent he's got. So, um, you yeah, know, it was a special play for sure.